hello vlog today is wednesday that makes it february 9th today 10th i'm not sure i'll put it down here like i always do but i wanted to jump on real quick and catch up with you guys have a little chit chat um i don't know i'm feeling kind of down again lately i don't know what it is um I have found something else that I'm insanely in love with these days and all y'all know I cannot stand coffee cannot stand it I can't do coffee I've tried but I've been addicted to these um, frappes my sister-in-law got me addicted to the quick trip frappe and now I just I can't stop I found this stuff that she actually buys as well at Walmart and it's like a frat pay caramel mochiato frat pay, pay like that you can make at home oh good lord good lord in heaven it's amazing so then I decided I decided to try one of the um, McCafe frat pays like doesn't that just roll up the tongue what you drinking a McCafe frat pay hold on we got people calling um Anyway, I just pulled into the house. I wanted to start another vlog. I've been having so much stuff go on again lately. Um, I've been, as you guys probably know if you watch them, I've been in like, back kind of in a creative artsy fartsy mood. I'd say since the beginning of this year, so I've been doing more things like that. Um, I also got another job where I'm cleaning houses, so I have that to do. My friend moved back to town, and now um, I'm helping take care of her dog as well. Yeah. You know what they say, idle hands are the devil's playground or something like that. Anyway, to top that off, I'm still babysitting. Speaking of, can you see Mr. Case back there? Peekaboo! He's back there. Um, I had to run to a pack on, go pick up my wonderful prescriptions. And if anyone has been along on this random journey of mine long enough, you know that every year I end up complaining because my insurance goes up because I have to meet my deductible. So I can't get all my stuff like I normally do. Um, so I kind of stockpile towards the end of the year. This year it was not that bad for me considering I'm not on as much insulin. So I'm not using as much insulin as I used to, but my doctor left my prescription kind of the same as it was before. So I'm still getting three vials every time I go pick it up. Talk about cha-ching chang. Um, but every time I pick it up, I get three vials. And then the next time I go, I get three more vials. Well, I'm barely using one of those vials. So I get to stockpile a little more now and have some extra insulin on hand where at the end of the year I'm not just refusing to take insulin so that I have some to carry me over through the first couple months of the new year until like our insurance gets figured out and we get our deductible met and all that good horse crap. Um, but I had like all of this stuff I wanted to tell you guys about and now of course I don't have my freaking tripod thing in the car. I probably have food in my teeth because I actually ate. Um, so I'm holding this. <clears throat> so I'm holding this, excuse me, with my arm and I'm realizing like this outside coldness crap needs to stop. It has been so cold here, you guys. And I have discovered fully that I am not an indoor runner. I do not like running on the treadmill usually. Like, there's a few times where I can put my earbuds in and, like, go, but I much rather prefer to be outside running, and it has been, like, negative 7, negative 10 for the highs here lately. Thank you, Wisconsin. And, um, negative, like, 30s with the wind chill, so it has been freaking cold, and I am getting completely out of shape even more than I normally am, I swear. Like... I've been doing all this research, research and was thinking about doing that jump rope challenge that everybody is kind of doing. Like, I'm always late to the game, so they were doing this on YouTube a while ago. But it's like a thousand jumps a day for seven days. 
and then I did all this information like research on it and I found out all this stuff that said jumping rope for 10 minutes is equivalent to running on the treadmill for 30 minutes yeah I agree case like what in the heck what in the heck so I've been thinking about doing that challenge and my very ungraceful butt got a jump rope out also disclaimer don't jump rope in your home yeah we tell our kids this like the same applies for you adults I was just breaking shit like hitting the doorways hitting the light bulbs hitting the yeah it, it was bad so anyway I also found out how ungraceful I am when it comes to jumping rope like um, apparently it's not like riding a bike and you don't just get back on and go because I was like did not crack did not crack like hitting my leg hitting the wall hitting it wasn't going over well so needless to say I have not fully decided if I'm making that 1000 jump challenge video or not I guess let me know in the comments below if you're interested and if you are, I'm going to have to find somewhere to go with a higher ceiling and more open space so that I can actually do this. Like, maybe the hallway upstairs in my house. Hmm. Didn't think about that. But, um, Case is getting kind of crabby back there. We just got back to town, like I said. Um, I'm this hair. Like, can you see all this new hair growth that I have going on? And it just sticks up at the top of my head. And my hair is still having a bunch of fallout it's not as bad as it was before but I have thoroughly decided that I can't keep doing this so I am actually Friday for the sake of my hair I met um, one of my friends hairdressers and she looked at my hair and she's like girl you're lacking something <sighs> I know this um, vitamin D I'm taking vitamin um, biotin I'm taking Karenique, my doctors basically believe it comes down to the fact that um, when I was losing weight, I lost weight really drastically within like a year and a half, over a hundred and something pounds, 130 pounds, 125. Um, I was using a lot more insulin, so my weight level and insulin intake was way up here, and then within a year and a half, it flopped and ended up like way down here. Uh, and she said that that's a huge adjustment to my body not to mention the different meds that I have been on due to my neuropathy in my feet as well as my dystonia in my left foot and she thinks that some of that meds that I tried and some of that other stuff um, interesting factoid did you know that any medicine that you take grows out through your hair hence that is why when they do drug tests and things like that they test your hair because your hair follicles or whatever will tell them what you've all ingested, what you've had. So just like if I'm taking my dystonia medicine, it takes however long for it to leave your system and it grows out literally through your hair, which just is amazing to me. I don't know why that was so interesting, but it was. I wanted to share. Um, so yes, I met her. We talked about some stuff. I'm going to start using that Nioxin hair shampoo. So any of you out there that's used it, I'm using the number two system. Um... I'm going to start and just see if it helps. So it's like a shampoo, a conditioner, and a, like a serum for your hair, for your head, for your scalp, whatever you want to call it. So it's supposed to make your hair thicker, better. It also is supposed to increase hair growth in different areas and things like that, increase the thickness. So if any of you guys have used it, I'd love, love, love to hear about your experience. Let me know in the comments below. I uh, started reading a bunch of stuff last night about it. And needless to say, I should not have, like, just should not have because um, I read how many people saying that it actually had the adverse effect, effect on them and their hair started falling out even more. Like when they were washing their hair in the shower, they were just getting clumps. I can't have that. Like, this is all I have for hair. We can't have what I do have falling out. So the other thing besides getting on the Nioxin, even though that's scaring the crap out of me right now is I also am going to continue to take my vitamins, but on Friday she is going to do, um, I'm going to probably say this wrong, so if any of you guys are hair people out there, don't come for me. I was calling it a bailage, but I think it's bailage, something like that. It's like the process and how they color your hair, and it is extremely great. Like, the way they do it is 
highly recommended for people with really thin hair because it really helps kind of give your hair some dimension and some depth that makes it look a little thicker and fuller just because of the way they do okay so I got cut off so anyway basically what it does is really help um, like I said it it basically makes your hair look thicker it gives it more of a, a dimension I guess is what I'm trying to say um, it's getting really hot in here. Excuse my finger. I see it, but I have to turn this off. Holy moly. Holy moly. Macaroni. Whew. Right, Case? It's getting warm in here. So anyway, she is going to cut this. I'm going to keep my longer layers to maybe here, and then all of the rest of this is going to be gone, though. Um, I'm going to have it kind of cut on a blunt, like, angle type deal an inverted bob maybe I don't want to go too short though I'm freaking out about it I'm freaking out about it but like she said that's going to give all of my hair that splitting and all of that it's going to give it more of a chance to grow back properly and with cutting it some of these new hairs underneath that are growing that are shorter it might actually make it look a little thicker so I'm hoping I'm hoping with getting it cut having that type of hair highlights done or whatever um, we're not gonna change the base coat of my hair at all but I'm hoping just with those in there it'll give my hair a chance to come back I don't know this has been the most stressful journey ever dealing with my hair like I don't even know if you guys can see up here but there's literally like hair that just stands up on top because it's like breakage along with like yeah. new growth. Yeah, I feel the same way case. Like look at all this. That's breakage, but it's new growth with breakage. I don't even know anymore, but I just want my hair to go back thicker the way it used to be. You guys would not believe how thick my hair used to be, if I can find a picture, I'll put one in over here or a couple, but I used to cut layers because I'm too cheap. We know this to go to a hair appointment. Usually like this will literally be my first actual real hair appointment in years, probably since I got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've maybe gone and actually had my hair done in my adult life, like maybe five times at a salon. Other than that, I've never gone. Um, but I would just cut layers and cut my own hair and trim it and it was so thick when I would flip it over to like cut across and add layers I'd have to like keep cutting and cutting because I couldn't never get through it and now literally this is all I have left like It is so sad. It makes me sad. I am someone that like hides behind my hair I want it to pull I want it forward. I want to hide behind my hair and I can't do it. I don't know. It's always been just like a security blanket to me maybe is what I'm looking for. Something like that. I don't know. But I'm sure there's others that can relate out there. I know a couple of my friends have said the same thing. Like I don't know what I would do if I didn't have like my hair to hide behind. It feels like it's like my mask, my shield, like my don't look at my fat face. Don't look at my fat face. Please hide. Like I hate my profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know case so trivial so vain but you know what when it comes to vanity I don't want to look good for anybody else I just want to look good for me I want to make me not be constantly worried about how I look or does that make sense I don't know anyway that's the deal that is the deal I'm definitely going this Friday to have that done and hiccups I'm kind of freaking out about it but I'm kind of not because it needs to happen. I need to try and get my hair healthy again. And if I don't start now, I don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah. Um, I do want to tell you guys, oh, 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 look at my hair. Like, I'm to the point where I don't even want to leave the house anymore. It's so bad. Um, and there's so much glare on my glasses. I hate that. Then I feel like you guys can't see me. Um, when we were in Wapaka, I did stop at the Dollar Tree, so I have a couple products over yonder. So, you guys, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just mine around here, but, but, 
the craft sections have been going insane like blowing up style insane so many cool new products like impromptu sneak peek dollar tree because um these are the crafter square scissors and they're the little detail scissors so you can like fussy cut with these hold on babies you can fussy cut with these and you know use them for cut and washy you can use them for cutting out different things um I don't know but I had to pick up two of these because I need me some of these and they're sharp like you can see I even poked my finger at the store um so like I said I did pick up two of these because I like having one like on my art desk in my um kind of art room office room area and I like having one out with all of my journaling kind of stuff and then I found this Freeman brand again this is a repair honey mask repair honey hair mask basics I don't know I've been hearing good things about all of the different masks and how they're really good for your hair so that's always a plus and then I picked this one up from Freeman as well this is the smoothing jojoba oil so I'm gonna try that and if I don't use them Jazzy's going to um, I've also been going crazy with all of the stickers check these out you guys there are so many cute ones like crafter square brand oh yeah oh yeah hold on I gotta get his nookie because he dropped it okay we got little man in the back settled he's good to go um the other thing my Dollar Tree has been having I'm so staticky like I can feel all of this like to my face just static nation here are the books you guys the books have been like amazing I don't even know what I can say go check out your Dollar Tree these books are they're just amazing I have found so many good ones and they're super expensive on the back um, this one right here is the weight of zero um, Karen Fortunati something like that I suck at pronouncing names you should guys should know this by now um, but speaking of books um, I am doing kind of keeping track of how many books I can read throughout the year and you guys it's probably really really bad to say this but I've read so many through January so many through February and it's only what like the 9th or 10th yeah so oh well um, I'm also gonna be making reviews and kind of just holding up the book telling you about it um, I still have to make January's and then at the end of February I'll make February tell you guys about what books I read I don't know if I really want to give too many spoilers, but that's kind of what I plan to do. So, the next book, you guys, I had to pick this up when I seen it. It is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Do you see this? Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Like, this is a New York Times bestseller. It even says so on the back. <laughs> um... But I, I, I seriously, I cannot wait to read this. Pride and Prejudice is an amazing book. And this one is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Like, how many more times can I say that? It's true, though. I cannot wait. Um, this, I'm not even sure what it is. But it looked cool. It is Talk About Design, Elizabeth Courtier. And one of the things I like about books, this one, like I said, has this stuff on it. So I couldn't even open it up and look inside. Mm -hmm. But I'm having a feeling that there's a bunch of pictures in this book about design or whatever it might be. Um, and I love cutting these books up or using them for different like altered journals or altered art books and things like that. So you guys never forget to check the Dollar Tree section because it's just freaking awesome. So that was a quick little haul with me because I only literally picked up a couple things. I don't know if I've ever only spent a couple bucks in the Dollar Tree like it is a rare thing for me to only spend a couple dollars in the Dollar Tree but I did have case along and I don't like having to really drag him through stores and stuff just yet even though obviously I have my mask and whatnot he doesn't he's little so all right one second okay so I got that all picked up I'm gonna enjoy my empty calories, which I absolutely do not need. Um, 
This is probably gonna force me to have to get on the treadmill later. But it's so good. If you guys hate coffee like me, never think that there's a coffee you're gonna like. This isn't necessarily, it's a cold brew, basically. Go try some frappes. A caramel, a mochiato, a caramel mochiato. Just make sure it's a frappe. It does not have that aftertaste, like that really bitter coffee aftertaste. That's what I cannot handle. But I've also realized the more I've been drinking these frappes, the more I find myself making them at home, I'm actually adding in little bits of my husband's like black coffee into them. What is wrong with me? Is this coffee addiction thing a real thing? Because I'm starting to think I'm going over to the dark side. Like, I don't think I could ever just drink the dark black uh, coffee. But I am, I am seriously changing my taste buds or they're changing and I'm liking this stuff. What is wrong? So if you ever want to try it and you think that there's no way in H-E double hockey sticks that you could ever drink this crap, please, by all means, go somewhere and ask for a frappe. Caramel Mochiato Frappe or Caramel Frappe and oh good dear lord it is mm -hmm, yeah it just hits the soul it just gets there you know what I mean I don't know but it works for me so I think I'm going to tie this up I just wanted to make a quick chit chat I know I hate it when I do these videos and I'm just sitting in the car talking but that's all I really got for you right now. So I'm probably gonna end this vlog and then I'll start another one later. I'm possibly making a sit down journal with me video tonight. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Um, and then tomorrow night I have to clean the house and I'm taking care of my friend's dog tonight and tomorrow. So lots to do, lots to do. Mm -hmm. um, little mister needs to get out of this car though because I feel bad that I've had him in here for a little bit now. So. All right, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking out my little couple things I got from the Dollar Tree. And keep looking forward because there's a lot of Dollar Trees to come. I have so much stuff I need to haul and get in a video. All right, you guys, love you much. Mwah. Bye. Guess what? Stay random. Hi, vlog. It is Friday. Today is February 12th. February 12th. <clears throat> so, today I did a thing. I don't know if y'all are noticing or not, but I, I, I did a thing. Um, my hair used to be down to the boobies. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, I have a before picture I can put over here. You guys seen this ugly mug, like you care. Um, but you guys know that I have been dealing with issues of really thin hair really brittle, really crappy hair, and I've been taking, like, biotin and Karenique, and I've tried different things, um, and today I, I finally met a hairdresser that I'm absolutely in love, in love, in love, 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 love with because of one of my best friends. Um, <clears throat> she goes to her, and I went with her to her appointment, and I was super stoked when I talked to her, and she said every idea I had about like some balayage coloring and a cut was exactly what my hair needed to kind of give it some life back and get it healthy and start from ground one. So I cut off like um, my hair was down to like here. I think she said it was over six inches, but it was over six inches of like dead, nasty, thinning, drying, brittle hair. And now my hair just feels so much thicker. It feels so much fuller. I have new baby hairs growing up on top up here that she showed me. So she told me what I'm doing is actually really working. So keep taking those biotin and those Karenique pills. And um, I actually just got some new like kind of medicated shampoo. It's called Nioxin. It's the Nioxin number no. 2 system. So I'm also going to be using that to stimulate better scalp health and hair growth. So I'll take you guys along on that little journey with me too. But what we did for color is that, I'm going to say it wrong, it's like a balayage type deal. Um, and it's just kind of how they do the highlights. 
So my hair is still my normal color. She just put in some blonde. Um, if you can see some, all the highlights in there. I don't know, but in the back, I have a picture of the back. I can put some pictures over here. I'm trying to show you guys the back of my head really just don't work. But literally, my hair is, I can't pull it forward all the way down here anymore. It is, it's up to here. And it's curled right now just to give it some body because I wanted to see what it would look like. Um, but it's really choppy kind of of a cut that I wanted so that I could still add a curl if I wanted to, you can see all these new little baby hairs growing in that I got going on. She helped blend those a little so it looks more like they're supposed to be there maybe. I don't know. But I was super nervous about it. But I'm super glad because of my friend pushing me and telling me I deserve this. Get out there. Let's do something for you. So? I don't want to get choked up here. But because of her, I finally went through with it. And I was worried it was going to be like a grandma cut. No offense to my grandmas out there because I love you. Um, but I just didn't know if I, it was me. But when it's not curled, it's kind of like angled a little bit. It's kind of blunt looking and choppy. And it's still a little sassy. So I'm down. I'm down with it. Can you see this color? <clears throat> I'm like actually, I'm okay with this. And it shows my fat face a little too much. But, we got to work with what we're working with. So, super excited about that. Wanted to update you guys on all of that stuff. Um, my opinion on those Karenique pills, I think they're actually really working. Am I taking them the way I was supposed to? You're supposed to take two every day. I've only taken one to make them last two months instead of just one month. But I've been taking them with my... 5,000 units of biotin or milligrams of biotin. So maybe the mixture of them both is really helping. I don't know what you can see and what you can't, but ah, look at these highlights, you guys. It is, oh my goodness. I don't even have like my dry shampoo in my hair to hide my part. And just because of the color and the way she did it, like it just looks so much healthier. And I'm actually really glad. So now that we talked about that, I do want to show you guys something. <laughs> no, it's not my messy house. It's also, let's just call attention to the big fat pink elephant in the room right now. Dun it, dun it, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so I got a cold sore. I'm not happy about that, but I've been super stressed, super freaked out. And whenever that happens, my grandma always would tell me it's the evil in me coming out. She might be right. I don't know. Um, but yes, so we addressed it. It's there. It's living on my lip. Mm-hmm. It'll probably get even way bigger. So, yeah, that's there. We've accepted it. We're going to move on. Um, it's pulsating. Like, my whole side of my lip is pulsating. But, <clears throat> you know how you get rid of something that you can't stand? You pretend it's not there. And a Breva. Like, that wasn't like a, a plug-in for any ad source. Like, seriously, a Breva helps. So, you got a cold sore, get you some Abriva. Um, Mia is here with me, and I forgot what I was saying. Cold sore. I also named it. This is Peter. Peter? Peter! It's Peter Lippin, Mr. Peter Lippin, who is living right here on my face. So now that we talked about that, let's move on. What I want to show you guys is, um, hold on, let me turn this around. Okay, there's Mia. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was not just this beautiful girl, this little beautiful Mia Mia who I babysat for and I love me to pieces. I also have a little cute quick Walmart clearance haul for you guys because we all know here I fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to clearance. I am a thrift clearance lover. Look what I found. I found these here cute little boots that would look amazing with a pair of jeans in a size 11. They were normally $14.98. Check out that clearance tag. I paid $5 for these boots and they're just Simple, cute little boots. What is this brand again? I can't even remember. They have memory foam. Um, is it Time and True or whatnot? 
But anyway, five freaking dollar clearance score. Miss Mia, be careful you do not fall. And then I've been in love with this black floppy hat that I got from them. Well, guess what? Time and true again, baby, for the brand. These were $9.97. They're a faux fur hat clearance to $3. So I got this really pretty, like, it's almost a purpley color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And pinkly. And then you got this one for me. Thank you, Miss Thang. And then I got this light pink one for $3 clearance as well. So maybe if you're next to each other, you can see. I don't know. But check this out for Jasmine. This says, not meant to be, not meant to be subtle. That's right. Either is my girl. So this is a woman's small in a size three to five. And it is a Walmart shirt for five bucks. However, how, boom, 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 ever. We got this for a dollar. Not subtle. That's right. We ain't subtle in the house. Subtle in the house. Subtle in the house. <laughs> So, needless to say, despite Peter Lippin, Peter Lippin, despite Mr. Peter Lippin taking up um, real estate here on my face, yes, sir. after a haircut, I feel free. Like, I feel like I shed all of that dead weight and that stigma of how thin and nasty my hair looked previously, like... I feel like it's kind of gone. Mia, you need to get down, please, so you don't fall. Bad Babysitter of the Year Award. Okay, so it is now currently time for the kiddos to get home. I'm sorry that I keep looking over here because I'm looking at, like, the screen. Let's not show you all those dirty dishes that came out of my children's rooms. Oh, I could wring their necks. So they're going to be home pretty soon, and then I can't. I'm super in a good mood. I can't even lie. And now tonight we have to go to my brother and sister-in-law's house because my niece is having her Valentine's Day party and we're going to make Valentine's and eat pizza and all that good stuff. So we're going to do that tonight and then I have the whole weekend to work with this hair, figure out what else I can do with it. It just got some curl in it to add a little body just so we could see what it would look like. Um, and I know I'm fairly certain she watches my vlogs. She's one of my only close friends that knows about my vlogs. And if you are watching this, I love you. I appreciate you so, so, so much. And I hope that you know how much you mean to me. As a friend, as a family member, and as a boss ass B word. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pushing me to go do something for myself and for being amazing. So shout out to you who shall remain nameless. Um, my kiddos are coming home though, and we have a couple things to do. Miss Mia's here until. What time are you here until? Oh my goodness! You're like a rainbow bright. Sun baby face. Where'd you go? Where'd you? She's here until her mama comes, probably in about an hour or so. I'm really kind of freaking out because I want to know what Rob's going to think when he sees my hair. He's not like big into short hair, but I'm kind of big into not looking like a complete ragamuffin 24 7. Uh, So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to be thankful for all the blessings in my life and all the people that I love and all the people that love me. And then I will check back in with you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog tonight. It depends on how comfortable I feel with whoever else is at Ireland's little party. A lot of my family and other people don't want to be on camera. So we'll see what happens. Um, and then I will talk to you guys all again soon. And I'm excited. Uh, give me my glasses. Kids. Kids.